There is a measles outbreak in several states. Two children have died in Texas. Here to discuss the measles and the current outbreak and how you can protect yourself and your family, we are joined by Fox Medical Team's Dr. Mike. Dr. Mike, thank you for joining us. Do you think uh, these recent comments and then even from RFK, who's been very vocally um, opposed to some vaccinations, do you think this will get more people vaccinated and get their kids vaccinated? Well, uh, Pam, I've been practicing for 33 years, and it's it's pretty much come down to it's almost like a religion. If you believe that they're bad, it's going to be hard to convince you that a vaccine is is the right thing to do. Uh, I, I, I mean, I can show 20 studies and I have people that just say I'm not doing that. Uh, it, it's really not a political thing. It is a medical thing. And we have good data good science that shows that the MMR vaccine is safe and effective. In fact, in the past, we've declared measles gone. Now we have the possibility, Pam, of thousands and thousands of people getting measles, which is not some simple little virus. It can be very dangerous. It can be life-threatening, and we've seen that. And I have two children, Pam. I can't imagine losing a child because I didn't give them something that has been shown to be effective. Now, you can uh, go online. You can look at all kinds of things. If, if I believe that the world is flat, there's somebody online that says, yes, the world is flat. So you have to have someone guide you through the shark infested waters of health information. And that would be healthcare providers, period. Right. And we, so and we, and we get do, the vaccine. Right. Get we do it. know that yeah. the two children who died were, were unvaccinated. So that that is something to consider. I want to ask you also, because the, the vaccine uh, originally, I think, was in the, the early 60s. So I, I know there's a lot of talk, uh, you know, for me and my friends, like people who were vaccinated in the 80s, the 70s or even the 60s when it started. You know, should those people be getting a booster at this point? Are we protected? So the way I handle this, I, I believe that data and knowledge is power. And so uh, I, I've been getting at least three or four calls a day in my practice. I have them come into my office and I do tighter testing because it is a, a little bit tricky. Uh, most people that were born between uh, before 1957 are felt to be immune. And people that receive the two vaccines, uh, 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 two shots of the MMR are felt to be immune. People who had had measles in the past are felt to be immune. There was a period of time, as you mentioned, in, I think it was from 1963 to 1968, a vaccine was produced that was not thought to be all that great in hindsight. So if you're concerned, if you have questions, I personally would get tested. I, I check measles, mumps, rubella. And if any of those are deficient, I give them a booster. Uh, that That's kind of it in a nutshell, simply put. Okay. Easy. That's good to know. Just There's do it if you're concerned. Okay. So that's yeah. good to know. There's a test. You can ask for the test to see. Because I, I feel like we didn't really have computers. I don't even know what my child vaccination, right? I have my, my children's are up to date. But for me, I don't know where those records, if they're all complete. So that's good. That's good to know. Talk to your doctor. Get tested if you're concerned, possibly needing a booster. Dr. Mike, thank you so much for that. And, and don't take too much vitamin A. In oh. Texas now, they're seeing uh, kids that are uh, vitamin A toxic because the uh, alternative thought is, well, if you take a lot of vitamin A, that will uh, suffice instead of taking the vaccine. Forget about it. Okay. Forget that. It can cause liver damage. Forget it. Okay. G added good yeah. information. Dr. Mike, thank you so much. Download Fox Local for more videos on demand.